It was certainly all chicken and smiles on the first day of American fast food chain Chick fil A's pop up on June 26 at Esplanade Mall. There was none of the expected queuing chaos or empty handed customers being turned away from similar events. Such as the recent pop up by American burger chain In N Out on May 31, where 500 burgers were sold out before its official opening time. On June 3, 600 tickets were released via Duck Chick fil A's online ticketing system. For dining at designated time slots, during its three-day pop-up from June 26 to 28. The tickets were sold out within 90 minutes. For every ticket book, diners had to make a $10 donation to Community Chess Singapore, which will be matched dollar for dollar by Chick-fil-A. Each person could reserve a maximum of two tickets, each guaranteeing one set meal of a Chick-fil-A chicken sandwich, waffle fries and a drink which cost around 10 US dollars 13 Singapore dollars and 50 cents. Singapore is the first Asian country that Chick-fil-A has hosted a pop-up in. On June 24, Chick-fil-A announced via Instagram that 200 meals a day would be available for takeaway. Starting from 11 a.m. By 10.30 a.m. on June 26, 30 people were in queue outside the pop-up at Aniplas Cafe in the hopes of securing a meal. By 1.30 p.m., all 200 meals were redeemed. First in line was student Jason Wall, 21, who arrived at 6.45 a.m. I came early under the presumption that it would be just as chaotic as the in and out pop-up, he said. This will be my first time trying it, and I'm just hoping it's a good chicken sandwich. At 9 a.m., Chick-fil-A staff distributed queue numbers to the first 10 in line and instructed them to return at 10.30 a.m. They also handed out water bottles and fans to those waiting in line. Each person could obtain only one meal, and customers were encouraged to make a donation of at least $5 to Community Chess Singapore in exchange for it, although it was not compulsory to do so. Diners who obtained a ticket for the pop-up enjoyed the full extent of Chick-fil-A's hospitality. Around 30 of them were welcomed into Aniplas Cafe at 11 a.m. and greeted at the door with a personalized name card by the brand's hosts before being seated. They were also given a choice of two dipping sauces from four of the brand's most popular options, Chick-fil-A, Sweet Spicy Sriracha, Honey Mustard and Herb Garden Ranch. One of the first to get their hands on a sandwich was American Brian Scott, 53, who works in the aviation industry. I've been a Chick-fil-A fan for most of my life since I had my first sandwich at home in the US. Over 30 years ago, he said. I don't eat fast food, but this is a different category for me. According to him, his sandwich tastes exactly like it does in the US. Mr. Scott even wrecked the venue on June 25 to make sure he knew where it was located. I've heard of these things getting crazy. So I wanted to be sure. Fellow diner Michelle Chang, a 35-year-old insurance agent, booked two tickets at the encouragement of her friend who tried Chick-fil-A on a trip to the U.S. It's my first time trying. It's delicious, the chicken is really moist, she said. Along with their meal, diners received a bingo card with various activities that allowed them to redeem a plush toy of Chick-fil-A's cow mascot when completed. Each seating runs for an hour, and the pop-up is open from 11 a.m. to 2 p.m. and 3 to 7 p.m. According to Chick-fil-A's spokesperson, the online ticketing system was an important part of conveying the brand's hospitality. We thought, how could we care for guests, especially as the weather in Singapore is punishing? We did not want them to be queuing, she said. On why Chick-fil-A decided to have all proceeds from the pop-up go towards charity. She said, philanthropy is a big focus at Chick-fil-A, and we wanted to pay it forward. Singapore 
will serve as a test market for the brand before it evaluates its next steps. The ongoing pop-ups are part of Chick-fil-A's expansion into Europe and Asia, which it aims to achieve by 2025. Singapore is a melting pot of culture, as well as a nation of foodies. So it was a good place to start, the spokeswoman added.